dear students in this video we are going to solve the problem from z transform the problem is prove that z of 1 over n plus 1 that's equal to c times log of c over z minus 1 so this is your z transform so first we write the definition so the formula of c transform that is z of x of n equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity x of n times c to the power minus n. This is a formula. For z transform. Next, we are going to find the value of 1 over z of 1 over n plus 1. So, z of 1 over n plus 1 equal to, here the place you can apply 1 over n plus 1. Summation n equal to 0 to infinity, 1 over n plus 1 times c to the power minus n. The formula just I apply 1 over n plus 1. This is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity, 1 over n plus 1 times 1 over c to the power n. Now I move the c to the power minus n come to the bottom that will change into c to the power positive of n. Now you start to apply the values n value 0, n value 1 etc. Okay up to infinity. So starting 0 ending infinity. So first you put n value 0 here 1 over 0 plus 1 into c to the power 0. One over zero plus one into z to the power zero. Next, you put n value one in these two places. Suppose you put n equal to one, then one over one plus one into one by c to the power of one. Next, you put n value two here. Here, n value two. One over two plus one, one by c to the power of two. Similarly, you put three, then you get one by four times one by c cube plus etc. plus up to infinity. Now we are creating the term like a formula. We are comparing with the formula. Which formula is remember? Here, see that. Here, 1 over c to the power <coughs> multiple all the terms with 1 over c. So, now I am outside multiple and divide 1 over c on both sides because we want 1 over c in all the terms. Here, we want 1 over c, 1 over c, 1 over c, 1 over c, 1 over c. So, commonly in outside multiple and divide one c now we get now i copy the same term listen carefully just copy the same term inside see that here the same one plus one by two times one over c plus one by three times one over c the whole square plus one by four times 1 over c the whole cube plus etc up to infinity but here in the outside i just copy the same term also here but our condition we multiple and divide z multiple and divide c means here i multiple then i divide okay just i multiple and divide z additionally now what happened means you move this 1 by c in all the terms so multiple this 1 by c with first term multiple 1 by c with second term 1 by c with third term, fourth term, in each and every term you multiple this 1 by c. So, remaining we have z only, the z is outside. So, this is equal to the multiple this c inside. You get the first term, you get 1 over c. The second term, already 1 over 2 into 1 over c. Again, you multiple with 1, 1, 1 over c. Third term also, you are going to multiple. So, 1 over 3 
Here already we have 1 over c the whole square. Again you multiply with 1 over c. The fourth term 1 by 4. 1 over c the whole cube times 1 over c. In all the terms we multiply with 1 over z. Plus etc up to infinity. Now you multiply both you get 1 over c the whole square. Here you multiply you get 1 over c the whole cube. Because 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. 3. So after some calculation we get the outside is c is there. Now the first term no change. They obviously get the same term 1 over c. The second term 1 over 2 times here 1 over c the whole square. Plus 1 over 3 times 1 over c the whole cube. Plus 1 over 4 times 1 over c the whole to the power 4 plus etc up to infinity. Here whole square, whole cube, whole power 4 up to infinity. Now we convert the formula in the next place. See that x plus x square by 2, x square by 3, x power 4 by 4. So this is called x. x square by 2, x cube by 3, x power 4 by 4. So we are arranging like a formula. So first term C is outside. Here the remaining terms are 1 over Z. The next term 1 over Z the whole square by 2. One over c the whole square by two plus next term one over c the whole cube by three. So one over c the whole cube by three plus etc up to infinity. Now this is of the form x x square x cube by three x four four by four. So this is equal to the inside term. This is equal to this is x x square by two x cube by 3, x power 4 by 4. Now, we can eligible to apply the formula of log of minus log of 1 minus x. This is equal to minus log of 1 minus x. Here, what's your x value? Now, check it. x is equal to 1 over c. So, your x value equal to 1 over c. So, c into, now what you do? Here, minus is friend log of, you taking LCM like earlier, taking LCM on both sides. So, you get C log of C minus 1 by C after taking LCM because consider the bottom is 1, 1 times C is C, here 1 times 1 is 1, so C minus 1 in the top, in the bottom you multiple both denominators, so Z, 1 times C is Z. Now, after taking LCM, this term going to the power, the reason is a log x is equal to log x to the power of a. This a is in front. This is going to the top of the, the x term. So, we apply the term this minus 1. Not, minus means minus 1. This is going to the top of the power. Here, it is moving to minus 1. So, using the formula, now we get the term. This is equal to c into log of c minus 1 by c to the whole power minus 1. Next, what do you think that the negative uh, sign we have to change into positive? How do you change the negative term into positive? You switch over the denominator into numerator or numerator into denominator. The upside go down, the downside go up. So, z come up, z minus 1 go down. This is equal to c into log of c over z minus 1. The power is now positive of 1. Because I change c come up c minus 1 go down so we obtain one answer this is equal to z into z into log of c over c minus 1 what's our left hand side value left hand side value we take that is z of 1 by n plus 1 so we take the term z of 1 by n plus 1 equal to we obtain the answer and the formula one more condition also they are given the condition that is equal to mod x is less than 1. But if this problem they are not asking. We are not proving. If they are asking you must prove that. But here they are not asking. So just you stop up to this. C of 1 over n plus 1. That is equal to z into log of z over z minus 1. That is our proof. Here we used two formulas. The one formula the first one is equal to c transform definition of c transform we are applying here you should memory that the other formula that is 
binomial expansion, the formula for binomial expansion here is minus log of 1 minus x equal to x, x square by 2, x square by 3, etc. up to infinity. That is the another formula. So, using these two formulas, we proved this result. Thank you.